Hello everybody and welcome back. I am KRX and we are going to be sort of wrapping up this Starter City build. I'm liking how it's coming together. I could see how things could kind of advance as we spill out onto the rest of the map. I'm, I'm liking this city so far. It's definitely, I don't know, they've all been really unique so far and I'm actually kind of happy about that. I don't know, I don't know how I'm pulling that off, but uh, we're uh, we're going here and, and things are happening and, and I don't know, I like this. I like what we're doing here. Um, this train station it's like yes I, I like the idea of the train coming in but i think we might end up sort of editing this in the future i definitely want to use that rail but i think we're going to keep it high and i think as long as we're you know let's let's just kind of build these roads uh, the way we want to build these roads and not really worry too much about uh, about the train specifically um, that'll get us tapped into this industrial uh, ore area where i think I'm just wondering, do we, well, we probably do want to connect here because the reality is uh, people, trucks are probably going to need to come into the, into the ore section, uh, uh, ore section. Uh, but if, wait a second, wait a second, if they need to come into the ore section, they could just use the dirt road or they could go run this way. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we need that because I think that's what this road is doing here. What is the benefit of connecting here to here? People coming this way from like coming from home to work could make a right turn. People coming from here could make a left turn. The ore industry itself could like, oh, there's Boomtown. Could like go here to then go out. That could be a good, that could be an outflow. I could see this being like a one way. Like this could be like a, a one way out or something. Yeah, I, I could see this being a one way. Which I know doesn't help the citizens, but there you go. Just to kind of like give, try to maintain a little bit of a, a traffic sense here a little bit. Um, we have a lot of uh, industrial demand actually. Yeah, let's uh, let's paint this up for ore industry. And if we had industries, right, we could do something there. But and I think we're just doing ore just because it's I don't know, it's just a little bit different. Uh, we could even go in and make it a little bit rockier and stuff or dig it out and make it a quarry. We do all kinds of things to make it look a little bit better. Um, in fact, actually, let's dig it out a bit. I kind of like that idea. Not too much. Just a bit to give it a little bit of uh, a little bit of texture or something to work with here. Otherwise, we're not working with much. Yeah, let's do more than that. Which kind of changes the way that this is like all set up. This kind of makes this road a little nonsensical. Unless it's also kind of elevated, which it could be. I don't know. We got something going on here. We could literally add rocks and things too, right? We could add rocks and stuff to kind of give it a little bit more oomph. But I think we're probably going to want like a dirt road though. Honestly, maybe at this point it wouldn't be that... Weird to have the dirt road kind of coming down from here. I don't know. I'm just messing around here, guys. I, I, I'm not sure what's going to look good, what's not going to look good. Usually, I'd put the ore industry in like a very specific... I'd look at the map because I, I use the uh, the industries DLC. Um, and not that you can't mix in the regular ore assets too, but I'd look at the map and be like, oh, this looks like a really cool ore industry. And I would like use the map to kind of tell me where to put ore and then i'd go in with the extra landscaping tools and just put the ore down that i want to put down i wouldn't i wouldn't explicitly like worry about where the game where the map itself is telling me to do ore that i mean that could be um usually i find that the maps are not like the the resources uh, are distributed more for like maybe aesthetic reasons to kind of paint the ground a certain way than actually for um 
for like thinking about like the thematics of, of where uh, maybe ore and, and oil and stuff would actually be or, or you know where farmlands would be and stuff like that. So I do not worry about what the map tells me I can and cannot do. But we do use the map for inspiration, absolutely. In fact, at this point we have a good amount of money. We do need to get death care down though. And that'll make some people happy, which is good. So let's get that death care down before we forget about that. And this could this could definitely go somewhere here, taking up this large area, connecting these two bits power-wise. That could be good. These homes could get bopped at this point if we wanted to. We still have some residential demand, so I could kind of see us doing something like this. But I'm not sure if that's actually going to look that good, because this is starting to slope up pretty hard. I think the intention was for this to be residential, but I don't know if I like uh, how much empty space we're leaving here. We might need to come in here with a couple inner roads. This is where I really like network extensions because we get some skinny roads that can kind of like give a lot of like sort of contrast to, to the difference between the normal roads, the, the bigger roads. And then if you have the skinny roads for the neighborhoods and stuff, it kind of just rounds things out really nicely. And I think we talked about actually doing residential up here. So we might need to actually add the infrastructure for that. Did we set this to, we did set this to or good. Okay. Huh, I'm not particularly in love with, uh, with what we have here, to be honest. Could just do something like that and then we could use move it to kind of smooth that out a bit. I don't mind that. Maybe down here, like, there, there's sort of like a, a branching of areas. Just kind of like coming out here and just kind of clawing our way into the, the sort of ore area, I guess, a little bit. Um, this to me looks like this needs to be like down more. And this whole area probably needs to be like flattened. Sort of like it's carved out more. That could actually look kind of cool. I don't know if we're going to have to redo the roads here or not. Um, in fact, actually, yeah, let's just grab all this. And uh, align to like there or something. Let's go into here. Let's do to flatten. Just the strength a little bit. There we go. I, th I think that's actually going to be much better for us. Yeah, much better for us. And hopefully if we come back in here, we'll get some better zoning. I like it. I like it. Let's get it down. I think that could be kind of simple but interesting. And I think once we get these buildings in, it might kind of pop. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll have to see what pops up, what it looks like. Maybe we'll need to add some, like, just some, some decorative rocks or something. I'm not sure. Again, this is kind of one of those areas where it's like if we clip the zoning over here, we could clean the zoning up here, and that could be a good thing. So let's clip that zoning. Go back to these roads. Refresh that and just get that little bit cleaner zoning there. Because I don't think really the intention was to... The intention wasn't really to do anything off of this road. Same kind of thing I'm th seeing over here. Let that rebuild in a better way. Same thing I'm seeing over here. That we can't do anything about that really. But we can come in with move it and scrunch these and make them look a little bit cleaner and I don't know, whatever we'd want to call that. Maybe we just ruined it. Now these are coming off of the road. Hmm, interesting. So we didn't clean that up the way I wanted, but it is what it is. We're not going to zone those. It, it's still better than it was, I guess. None of these areas are getting power, though. That's that's the thing. Um, we could actually do this, and that'll kind of group everything up here, which is nice. 
I think we could do the coal power plant. We're actually making ore, so like that would be a little bit more secure. We do have this though. If we need a lot of power, yikes. There's really nowhere to put this. Now with, with uh, Anarchy, I could put this here. And I think we're going to. A little bit goofy, but uh, there you go. Joys of Anarchy. So that should be getting us uh, another 20. That's giving us tons of power. We have tons of power. Are we still at 150% power? We can bring this back down. Because that really was only increasing our total power by 25%. So that's going to save us a lot of money. We're still getting, we're still 10 megawatts ahead of, of, of our demand. Um, so that's good. Uh, to get this bridged over, we might want another fire station. That should be sort of connecting power through over to here. So hopefully this will grow once we actually need the, uh, the industry. The reality is the, the people over here might appreciate a fire station too. Is there a difference of cost between the European and the non? No, they're the same. European one might look good in the uh, in the neighborhood there. Having it more centralized would have been better because it puts out that area of happiness. I guess we could go back to speed three, try to progress a little bit more. Uh, we are getting power complaints, which seems weird to me. Oh, because this isn't hooked up. Whoops, whoops, whoops. This actually isn't even hooked up to the power grid. Whoops. So we're generating a certain amount of power, but it's not actually registering all of it. I do not like the way the power lines look. I'm almost thinking, like, should we design in a way that we try to get rid of the power lines? Like, if we put something over here and then we put something over here, it'd be a short little power bridge there. I'm almost wondering, like, a, I don't think a park would reach that far, though. So I'm not sure what our options are here. Getting a lot of residential demand, which means we should start to look at um, what we can do up here. This is a little bit rocky, to say the least. I mean, that's a steep slope down. That is a steep slope. We could just follow this out here like, like so. Because that seems to be a ridge that kind of stayed smooth until it didn't. But uh, there you go. I'm kind of wondering if we want to do a little bit of smoothing out here, to be honest. We might want to just at least smooth it or soften. Because this is a little bit, I don't know. A little bit hard to deal with. Better? Better. I still think these could probably just be down a bit. Yeah, much better. Actually, it doesn't even look half bad all of a sudden. It'd still be hard to put houses off, off this road with how that kind of looks overall, but... Yeah, I think softening is, is fair here. I think so. Be kind of interesting to go straight out in this way, and kind of try to go with the with the the water, which would actually let us swoop out here. Let's let's try this. That's going to be tight with the water, but it might hold. Dang! I mean, does this hook in there? So it kind of like swoops under this one, and hooks into there. Yeah. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Just doing a little bit of move at work here, just kind of cleaning up the slope. And, and what do you know? This is kind of nice looking all of a sudden. This is definitely a little, 
way too high, so let's bring that down. And we have something that doesn't look half bad. And we're starting to get that more area that we could start to then come back in and in zone, potentially. I think, you know, as nice as this little mount or little castle thing is and the Stonehenge thing here we got going on, I think we're going to get rid of these so we just don't have to worry about dancing around them. Which again, sometimes dancing around stuff like that is really neat. That can kind of like get you like get you going. But when we already have an idea, we don't need to limit ourselves. But it's a great way to build those ideas in the first place, right? So it's kind of like a, a mixture of going with the flow and then also kind of like once you have an idea, you, you stick with it. Yeah, execute it, see how it looks. I'm basically just going to water up this whole area because again, we're making... 4,000 per week. Admittedly, we probably could go in with a few more services, but everything's fine, right? Nobody's complaining about anything. I think the only thing people are complaining about is like lack of, of workers and stuff, right? So we just need more residential uh, people. We just need more people. It's not, it's not an education issue or anything like that. It's just we don't have enough physical people. And we could actually check that, right? We can investigate that by going into here and seeing their households are filled and we're, we're 400 workers short, so we need 400 more people in the workforce. What is this going to look like if we, if we try to do one of these? That is definitely a weird junction there. This probably would, in actuality, come up a bit and then hook into something. Okay, let's see if we can actually kind of go off here and get something to the very, very edge, and then just sort of like even just do a straight connection there. And that could easily build out into this. This, I think we sh we're seeing that both, well, both of these could curl around, and, th and then this could kind of fill in the space. What do we do about this though? Wait a second, wait a second. It doesn't look too bad. It's a, it's a little awkward because it doesn't really make sense uh, with everything else. We're also not getting good sort of usage. Like if we were willing to do that, we could like kind of like do something like this maybe. But what this does do actually is it gives us this road. It gives us this excuse to come down here like such and then maybe sort of attack into these areas with kind of a, a dead end even. Yeah. That road was a little bit uh, a little bit long. I'm not in love. I'm not in love with with this nonsense here. I think it does make sense that this would sort of pinch down and that gives this all more justification but I think it makes more sense to have to just sort of split this for now something and start to dissect it uh, just just sort of have having everything um, this at least will give us more space to build initially, which is really all we need, right? It's just a lot more houses. The other side of the river, though, that infrastructure we we're putting in over there is intended for more houses. I'm just, again, I'm just not sure how we, uh, we keep building here without kind of like keeping a pattern, but without making it seem just like random and chaotic. So... I mean, maybe this could, in this could kind of like do a thing. That actually doesn't look too bad. I don't think that looks too bad, especially if we can kind of use Mobit to smooth this out and stuff. 
starting to get commercial demand. We could actually add some commercial over here too, I bet. You know, you could spend a lot of time like wiggling this stuff out, right? Smoothing this stuff out and such. But I think at least what we have is an area that I feel comfortable going in and zoning some of this. We are going to need power to be able to reach up here though, which is probably the biggest issue right now. We'll just fill this in and see how it looks. I don't know. Do we want the commercial like on the water? Or do we just want to keep coming in with more commercial over here? Choices, choices, choices. This area definitely needs power though. I think the way we're going to get it across the road is just probably like a little park. We look there there we go powers across the road so honestly letting those fill that all fill in we have a little bit of ore industry here it doesn't even look too bad it's a little bit goofy with this we, if we had surface painter right with surface painter we could go and make that look a little bit cleaner we could go into uh, the rocks here and we could do some stuff like this and we could kind of start to kind of place things like this and and kind of make the whole area seem a little bit more interesting and sort of I guess textured and such this is a quarry type area anyways right so makes sense that we could be bumping into big stones and things as we're excavating and like whatever we do have to kind of make sure we're not bopping uh, actual zoning though right I'm not, I can't even remember if these rocks actually affect zoning or not Take two, kind of overlap a little bit, kind of make something new. Smash them together. We're using Anarchy to be able to smash them together, but... I mean, it's it's goofy, but it's, it's kind of looking okay, right? It's goofy, but it's looking okay. More power. I think at this point, we're making tons of money. Got commercial coming in. We got plenty of places to grow the residential, right? Which is saying what it was, which was the thing that we said that we needed. Yeah, because we have like somehow we have a thousand empty workplaces, so we just need way more residential. But it's not giving us the res residential demand that we need. But guys, thank you so much, everybody, for watching um, another episode of this Starter City build. I think this is a, uh, I think this is a well fleshed out area. I think we can kind of see how these areas would kind of evolve how they would connect this would continue to be growing industrial this area would probably merge with this area this area would kind of merge with this area commercial sort of along the water we could even bring the commercial across to here a little strip of commercial there um residential kind of filling up this sort of back layer back here maybe even kind of doing some work over here with residential or over here although these are kind of rocky areas maybe parks could go into these areas it's hard to say right we could do whatever we want especially if we had park life um and then like we could be growing out to different a, a number of various different good opportunities for high density uh right now we are you know we're still about we're halfway population wise to high density but it wouldn't really be that hard to to get there we could easily get to 4500 just in this tile and then uh get another tile and just and just be off to the races so and ready for the high density guys thank you so much everybody for watching i will see you guys in the next one